This is really what I need. I've known David since Monty Python days, when he was one of the bosses of BBC Television. Now then. He likes to play a sort of quiz game on unsuspecting uh, visitors. Yes, well. Object number yeah, three is? Wow. Well, it's extremely heavy. I would have thought it was an egg of some kind, but I can't imagine any animal. Yes, yes. It is an egg. This has come yes. from inside it's, some, it's a, it's some an egg. creature. It's an egg. Um, oh, dinosaur egg. Full mark. Really? <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> but I can't help feeling it's all just a playful way of hiding a very serious obsession. Do you get books of every yes. place you go every. to? I mean, your <laughs> shelves are stocked. You see there almost every book on Papua ever written in English. Is that? Yeah. That's important to you. Don't so. ask me if I've read them all, though. No. 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 But if you hear that there's one you haven't got, you make sure you get it. Yes, do you? No. A man possessed by his enthusiasms. <laughs> I mean, the Is this the key to David's unique success in television? Do you know what that is? I have a feeling it's enormously significant, <laughs> as everything else in this room is. And probably if I touch it well. It's very heavy. Oh, I mean, I'm really not sure. An early design for a portable television? <laughs> Yes, the programmes on here. Programmes have deteriorated. Yeah, the programmes have deteriorated. <laughs> <laughs> here now, we all know the eminent author, zoologist, producer, David Attenborough. David, did you have any ambition uh, to become an actor like Dickie? No, never. I was quite happy to leave it to him. Of course, he was uh, stage stuck from he was that high. And he was always putting up shows of one sort and another and wanting casts and who better to recruit than his younger brother. Uh, he went on to um, drama school and I went on to take a science degree and I think we're both equally surprised to find ourselves in the same medium of television now. <laughs> Action. Using their long, chimp-like arms... So how did David become such a world-renowned broadcaster? Are there any clues in his upbringing? Well, I, I don't think I, my childhood was particularly different from, anybody, from many other childhoods of boys. I mean, I think children are excited by what they see and by finding out about the world about them. I mean, everybody's interested in tadpoles and why they turn into frogs, and, which is extraordinary and marvellous and wonderful. Everybody thrills to see a butterfly climb out of a chrysalis, you know. Family used to go on holiday in North Wales on, on Anglesey. And uh, I used to go on a farm and dress up as a farmer, a ham, and Dave would disappear. You couldn't find Dave anywhere. He was on the beach on Penman Point, on Penman Island, fascinated by the puffins or, or whatever, but mostly collecting quartz, rocks, fossils, anything that created an atmosphere of the wild and the outside. <laughs> 